Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis with another tip. If you have a 2022 or newer Tiguan, Volkswagen Tiguan, you have this display right here. If you have the S, SE, or SE R-Line Black Edition. If you have an SEL, you don't have this display. You have a, a much more advanced one than that. You have the composite or the uh, composition color, or actually the uh, Discovery Pro, I should say. But this one here has three main views here. There's a view button on your steering wheel right here to change that, by the way. So this is that blended screen. Then by hitting the view button, you have your speedometer screen, and then you also have your tachometer screen. Your fuel gauge stays over here to the right, your temperature gauge over here to the left. But I'm gonna go back to that blended screen so you can see what this thing has the capability of doing. You'll notice there's a tab on the left over here and a tab on the right over here. Using this left tab and this right tab, you can change what's displayed here. So on the right tab, I wanna hit right here. That gives me these options here. Now I can hit the up or down arrow right here and okay to select to change what is displayed here. I'm gonna actually change this to where it says navigation. Whoops, nope, I missed by one. Let's try that again. Navigation, hit okay. Root guidance is not active. So now when I use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto and have a navigation app up on the screen here, it's gonna show my next turn here. I just simply hit the right tab and arrow up or down to change what's selected there and then hit okay to select whichever one I want. So that's what I did there. Now. I had a customer ask me how to change uh, their fuel consumption on the, the since the uh, since refuel. So here's what we can do here. Hit the left tab to go over here. I'm going to go fuel economy, average economy, gear display. I'm just showing you all of these different ones. Now notice navigation doesn't show up over here, but if I go to economy and hit select, that's my real time fuel economy. That's not what I'm looking for. So I'm going to do average economy right there. Since start, I'm gonna hit the left tab again and then hit it again. And now I can go long term or since refuel and hit okay to select. Now, since refuel, it's averaged 11 miles per gallon. Bet you didn't know you could do that. That's pretty cool. So you can change what's displayed on the left and the right side. I hope this tip has helped you guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and have a great day. If you have a question, leave it in the comments for me. Thanks a lot, guys.